This is the standing hip shift for single leg RDLs or any standing lower body or core exercise. So if we have our knees next to each other and one leg bent, from the side you can see my knees are in line with each other and I'm in this kickstand type position. Really what we're talking about when we're hip shifting is what's happening at the pelvis in the frontal plane. So the idea, idea here is that I'm gonna reach my right knee down and I'm gonna pull my left knee back. Right? So what this does is it shifts my body towards uh, my left side. Now when I do this hip shift, what's happening is my left hip is actually going backwards, my right hip is moving forward and down. And so you can see that there a little bit of rotation occurs naturally in my upper body as well. So from the, from the back again, my knees are next to each other. I'm reaching my right knee down to the ground and pulling my left knee back. And again, you can see my left hip is behind my right in this, in this uh, stance. Now, when I'm in this position, one of the things that we're looking for is to limit any movement at the shin or ankle. So again, as I pull my left knee back or my femur back and push my right knee, my shin is staying perpendicular with the ground and it's not going with my femur or my hip. So again, left knee or the stance leg, whether you're doing left or right, down and, or pull back, the other leg is shifting forward and down towards the ground. In this case, you go into your single leg RDL position, whether it's a, a payoff hold uh, or even if we're talking about a uh, change of direction. Right, can I shift into that hip? Can I feel and load the back of my posterior hip and explode out of it? Standing hip shift, hope this works.